A new exhibit at OMSI promises to educate, fascinate, and excite imaginations of every age. Our Cor Harlan joins us live with a preview of Dinosaurs Revealed. All right, Cor, uh, we saw some of those dinosaurs earlier. They really look like the real deal. You know, we've talked about that a little bit ago. Maybe some of the dinosaur exhibits of the 1980s with the kind of the creaky little dinosaur things that are obviously mechanical. These are really smoothed out and these are state of the art uh, animatronics that uh, portray some dinosaurs of the last 265 years. We're kind of standing in front of one of them here at Dinosaurs Revealed. This is an exhibit that opens. Uh, to the general public tomorrow. Tickets for this weekend have already sold out. It's such a popular event here, and they are going fast for next weekend. So if you want to get involved and, and come on down here and take the kids down here for a little bit, because as I say, you can get really up close to some of these, and they are really realistic looking dinosaurs. You see this guy swinging his tail out there in the back. It is, it is really cool. There's a lot of things going on here. This is a little bit of a history lesson. This is a little bit of a climate lesson. Uh, it's a little bit of a history of uh, the, the the Jurassic period and the dinosaurs and all the rest of that. Jen Powers is the one that usually knows most about all of these things. And uh, thank you for being up here and with of us course. this morning. This is, uh, let's, let's talk a little bit about just a couple of these things. And you're standing in front of some of these artifacts, these, yes. uh, these, these uh, concrete <laughs> castings of some of the artifacts that have been dug up. And most of these have been in the Intermountain West, uh, Utah, Wyoming, Montana, New Mexico, all of these places. Yes. And it's, it's, a, it's a North American centric dinosaur find, right? Yeah, definitely. The entire exhibit is focused only on dinosaurs that were discovered in North America. And you're right, because of what North America was back during the Mesozoic era, a lot of places, including where we're at in the Pacific Northwest, were mostly underwater. Yeah. So a lot of dinosaur discoveries, which were almost entirely land animals, are going to be found, like you mentioned, kind of in the inner mountain west. And I'm reading in some of the materials <laughs> here that it was like a subtropical area. It's hard to imagine Utah and, and some parts of Colorado is subtropical, sub but yeah. there it was <laughs> back in the day, and these animals they thrived in that environment, right? Definitely, and that's something that the exhibit really focuses on, is how the Mesozoic era climate mm -hmm. changed over time. So right now, we're in kind of the Jurassic and Cretaceous period, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. felt a lot different climate-wise than the Triassic, which was a lot earlier. Come on over here, Carl yeah. and, and Jen, and let's just kind of wander through these. This, Oregon Museum of Science and Industry Museum is really cool because that's this is what that is. You sit there and you could really just stand here and stare at some of these uh, these replica or these are uh, these are skeletal replicas of skeletal remains that they have found here. Yes. And it's this is this is also in chronological order. So we start back in the when the first dinosaurs started walking the earth. Yes. We go mm -hmm. through some of the evolutions that they made. Some of the other. Uh, the, the meat eaters, the, the, what do you call them, the big one, the, 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 the popular one? T-Rex. <laughs> the T-Rex, exactly. Carl's, Carl's on this morning. Uh, and and it's, so it's, it's a little bit of history and a little bit of climate thrown in there with it, right? Yeah, definitely. And you know, this really has something for everyone. You come here and you get to experience and be immersed in the Mesozoic era. It's very entertaining and fascinating. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, there's so much science and there's so much history to explore as well. So if you're interested in, in dinosaurs and paleontology and learning how scientists actually uncover mm -hmm. fossils that look just like this, this is a great place to do that as well. That is awesome. <laughs> as I say, the exhibit starts this weekend. Mm -hmm. You can see all of these old things that have been dug up here and uh, I think these are castings of some of the uh, artifacts that they've dug up here but the animatronics here are fantastic uh, stick around here at 720 on CW we'll show you some more of the uh, this animatronics that are upstairs uh, the fossil the, the castings of the fossils are just fabulous as well you get a real appreciation for how animals walked around on the surface of North America 250 to 200 million years ago uh, so it's a step back in history a little bit, a little bit of climate lesson here, and lots and lots of cool things to look at, Jenny and Kev. Yeah, yeah I'm liking that. Mm -hmm. Looks like a fantastic exhibit. What did your wife say? She heard yeah. they said it was the yeah. best? She said, oh, they say it's the best exhibit Omzi's ever had. They, meaning who? Oh, they. Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, <laughs> Instagram. She's all over it. She's all over that <laughs> stuff. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. All right. Yeah, that'll be great for uh, family to go yeah. see. No yeah. doubt about it. Thanks, Thanks Cor. All right, 645. Yes. I want to get a look at your weather and traffic, starting with Carl.